Hey there, boys and girls, Elton here. Yep, I am in the Laurentians, north of Montreal in God's country. Beautiful summer evening. It was at high about 24 degrees Celsius today, which was, I think, about 75. And I'm here at a cottage that my uh, that I was lucky to stay at uh, until, uh, well, you know, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening, and that's Saturday evening. And uh, I've been taking real easy. I really just needed to... I really needed to get away, like, from the city, man, where I live. It's, it doesn't get more city than where I live. I mean, you know, I'm near downtown, and there's just hustle and bustle all the time, and people, and everything's compacted together, and the air's bad, and so here we are. So anyway, as I th I had this idea, like I did last year, I said, why not do a walk, just a little walk, slowly, down to the, uh, down to the dock by the lake. Oh, and I forgot to mention where we are, though. I'm in St. Adolphe de Howard. Yes, sir. We're near St. Agathe, Quebec. And uh, I said, man, I was looking at the window. I said, oh, wow, look at this. We're in the shade. The sun is over there, over the trees, over this mountain. And the Laurentian is known to be, always been known to be a, a vacation getaway to, uh, you know, up here because you're in the mountains and there's many lakes, rivers. So again, why not show you a contrast between here and when you look out over the, when we get to the lake, you'll see that it's all lit up by the low sun. It's just beautiful. I was hoping to see something like that. Well, actually, I was hoping to actually, in fact, to, you know, see the sunset itself. But whatever, hey, you know, you can't get everything you want, you know. It's a great chalet, a great, as we call it in French, a chalet, which you know, and has a cottage. And uh, that's when you know you're, you're in a mountainous area in the forest, too. There's a lot of rock formation up on the road up there. Went for a walk earlier. And the funny thing is, you're probably wondering, well, what's with all these round steps with her, which look cool, but they're actually friggin' annoying is actually the fact that uh, the guy who uh, built this place apparently worked for Hydro Quebec. So he got all these, I guess, these miniature, miniature spools probably for all that wiring, you know? I imagine. I reckon. It's so good. Come on, maybe make it. It's so good. My father-in-law has got good taste in music. Was playing the, I don't know, the Stingray channel or whatever and Stingray channel with all the classic rock and all that. You have to excuse me. I've had a few wobbly pops, maybe a few little puffs. I hear something in here. Maybe it's a snake. Eh? Maybe if you're lucky, you'll hear the call of the wild, which is a loon up here. Yeah, here we go. Look at that, eh? Right here on the Lac Traverse, Traverse Lake, I guess it's called. Yeah, I'm gonna hopefully do that tomorrow with my uh, father-in-law Marcel. Air is great and pure. It's gonna be a little bit tough going back home tomorrow evening, frankly. Um, kind of like not looking forward to that. I'm only looking forward to that really uh, to be with Gloria there. Here we are. Here's your moment of zen, virtually. Especially for those of you like me who are city dwellers and find it gets quite annoying sometimes. You know? We saw a frog here earlier. Actually, I did a video of it. I think I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna put that with that, this video, I think. I'll go with it. Actually, you'd, I did record the sound of that loon even on top of that. You know? Oh man, are those po folks making a fire? I wanna make a fire. Shit. Is that a loon or did I hear just somebody yell just now? Ah, somebody yelling. You know what this kind of reminds me to? You know, you guys, you know me well. I love horror movies, especially old horror movies. And I might as well have a seat here for a few minutes, talk about a couple of things. And, um, you know, actually, I made a reference recently. You saw that video I filmed with those two Mercedes uh, 300 SDs in Montreal, and uh, they were very similar. And I was making a reference about how there was one of them used in the movie Creep Show in one of the stories in the movie, because it's a movie about three different horror stories. And um, the the best, I think for me, I think the best, uh, uh, you know, one of those stories, one of those little films was the last one, the third one, and it was called, I think it was called uh, The Raft. And it's like that, it's a raft like this, and they, these, these young people, they show up in a Camaro, hot rod, and you know, music fucking blare, and they smoke the dube. And they go to the raft, they swim out to the raft, and then they, they get like attacked by this, it looks kind of like an oil slick or spill, you know, and it's really weird and it just ends up killing them all. So it's just, 
not to be negative or anything, it's just a cool story, pretty unique, you know, and the last guy remaining on there out of the 40 just manages to jump off and swims for the shore, <laughs> and then the thing, like, he comes out of the shore, he's like, I beat you! <laughs> and then the oil spill just, like, suddenly stands up sort of thing and just, like, <laughs> takes him alive, and that's it. There you got a nice cumulus-looking cloud there, up there. It's funny, it occurred to me today that every time I've gone ever to a cottage for a weekend, doesn't matter if it's here or my aunt and uncle's place, not that far from here actually, in Lake Wentworth. Um, you know, I never get to see a thunderstorm. Because I would always like to see a good thunderstorm here because this is the place to see. It's the complete opposite where I live, where I'm like a fucking between buildings and all these small ass, stupid small ass typical vintage windows are all narrow and vertical, rectangular, and they're just. They're full of birds. They're not bringing up enough light as it is. and Anyway, so that's it. I just uh, just wanted to make this little video just for fun, you know, just, again, something different. Um, and, you know, but I got a lot of great content coming. I was thinking about making a video about that, about all, you know, just like a little update, like things about comments, by the way. Hopefully most of you watch this video. You're not just, you know, watching videos. You want to see only fucking fire trucks responding or old cars or whatever. But most of you watch this, maybe it would be cool because then you'll know that, um, uh, what was I saying, uh, that, um, oh, I lost my fucking train of thought, that's the trouble with the herbs, you know, um, but anyway, I got a lot, tons of videos coming up on old cars, tons, and also I wanted to just make a comment about, I know I get so many comments, I get, you know, so many comments that we, hundred, probably maybe hundred or hundreds of comments a week, I guess, I don't know, I can't, I can't answer them all, you know, I can't even, sometimes they just go under the radar and I just can't get to them, so, um, you know, I just want you to guys to know that. And it's like, I, in a way, I've kind of given up. Or sometimes I just take a break from it, and then I'll, like, you know, I'll, like, answer a whole bunch of them in a row. You know? Oh, and I hear a plane. I hear a plane. The plane. The, where is it? I hear it. I don't see it. Anyway, so uh, that's it, man. And um, I love that cloud. You know, that gives me an idea. I'll give you a little preview. I just finished my Mack truck model, by the way. My 1926 Mack truck uh, Bulldog tanker. I haven't filmed it yet because I was waiting for it to be sunny uh, so I could film it outside next to my place. But actually, we had last couple of days, it was like overcast. You know, it was partly cloudy and then it's sunny. I was like, oh, ah, you know, I want it in the sun. I want it to look as real and as cool as possible. Just like the way all these trees and the water looks, colors come out, you know, really stand out. And uh, so I'm going to do that soon. And then after that, I'm going to get started on my next project. And it's going to be another drawing, big drawing like the other one with a metro station. And with an old car, I'm going to leave you hanging on that. I'll let you noodle that. All right, guys. So uh, take care and uh, rock on. And uh, well, might as well film a walk back up to the uh, the cottage. I come to think of it, since, you know, me who has two batteries. And one of the other things I forgot to mention, like I just told my mom about what I love about this camera compared to the fucking Nikon that I broke. And one of the advantages of this one compared to the Nikon is that thing sucks batteries. This thing, man, I could film so much shit with one battery. It's mind boggling. It's fantastic because it's just a slightly lower, uh, I guess, resolution there. You know, we're going for resolution. I know, I'm just kidding. That's not how it goes. See, if only I had better eyesight so I can be, I can see these things, you know, rummaging about in the, the leaves and the trees. You know? Yeah, watch this. A fucking snake's going to come right out of me there. Oh, that garden snake. Anyway, guys, if any of you are able to do this uh, once in a while, even if actually you can, if you live in Montreal or you live in a place, anywhere you can go and go get to the country for a while with nature, for, even if it's just for a few hours, man, you, if you don't know, man, it does you such a world of good. Uh, me being obsessed with vehicles, man-made things, I mean, this is exactly what I needed, you know? So, because I love what I do, but, you know, hey, like a lot of things in life, it can be stressful, believe it or not. You know, I have to deal with fucking taking scrap all the time. Oh, and I was pissed about that just yesterday. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. So there you go, guys. So wishing you well. Take care. Adios. Ribbit. 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 It's a quick head job. You have the soleil come new. Good morning, the soleil. Il veut pas nous regarder, hein? Oh. 
Ribbit. Il nous voit-tu, Colin? Pas sûr qu'il nous voit. Hein? Malgré que ses yeux sont sur le côté quasiment. Hein? Kermit the Frog. Hein? C'est comme Kermit the Frog. I'm here with my uh, stepsisters. Oh! Uh -oh. Oh! Ça, ça s'appelle un loon. C'est comme, comme un canard. Ça fait peur un peu, hein, comme bruit. Ça sent. Ça fait bruit. Mm -hmm. Il est bizarre, la grenouille. Hein? Il ne bouge pas. Il a l'air quasiment comme il va faire caca. Ça, la, la bouche ouverte, il y a une grosse langue. Non. Non, rien, non, il bouge pas, il est mort. 